Oak Hill Pine. It's mainly in Colorado is where I was turned on to it. I have family in Colorado Springs. And so that's where I first saw the material, but it has just crazy natural color variants. And it's like destroying the forests all over the country. So what happens is a beetle attaches itself to the bark of a tree and burrows into the log and it leaves behind a fungus that naturally stains the wood. So you'll see these crazy colors of blue and purple and gray um, all the way through the material, whereas pine is normally a yellowish color. So it just, it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, it's a devastating thing that the forests are being torn apart and that it's creating forest fires, but um, a lot of people are using it for firewood or just throwing it away. And we just think that's a terrible thing that it's being wasted like that. So uh, we're repurposing it with new love and his creativity. He's the artist of the family for sure. <laughs> so um, to try to give it a new, new life and have it into people's homes. We carry in every board that you see in this place, we've carried in by hand. So just the two of us, you know, you don't have massive forklifts or anything. It's just him and I, one board at a time, <laughs> carrying it into this place. So uh, a lot of, it's a true labor of love, this business. When somebody walks in here and wants a kitchen table or something, then I make them pick out the slabs. You know, I want to go through the whole pile. I want them to get a feel of what they're going to get. I want them to see what the process is going to be. So that's that's a, a little bit more hands-on. A lot of people just go say, okay, I want this kitchen table made, you know? And then they just go build it. And if they're happy with it, great. If they're not, they're not. But here, I want to make sure they're happy, you know? Because it's a lot of work to get it to that point. Mm -hmm. But not. he's really good at the collages. You yeah. know, just taking like these tiny little pieces of wood and making either a crazy design in them or um, even a pattern. So. Yeah, when it goes crazy, when the design goes crazy, I go crazy too. And <laughs> he does a little it bit. turns out, it's like, really? <laughs> you did that? <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Yeah. He really gets into his projects. Since there are no secrets in woodworking, are there any, any, is there any tips you can give our listeners for how to spot truly well-made furniture? Anything, like any techniques or things that are shortcuts that will sort of key them into something that's not, not very high quality? Um, look at the actual finish of it. Uh, here I do eight coats of finish normally on the kitchen tables, which is super max. Uh, I don't only do that because I the UV is real bad out here and I want it to be like awesome forever. Look at the bottom, the way it's put together, you know, kind of look at more of the parts you can't see. That's the best, that's the best I can say. You know? Yeah, look for plywood pieces look and... for plywood pieces and pieces that aren't supposed to be there you know how do they sand it how do, how do they put it together you know has the bottom finished or not yeah and and on top of that like the bottom parts too are they you know look at the bottom of the piece of furniture if they ask what you're doing to say i want to see how they build that will tell them a lot too the structure ability of the furniture is what's going to make it last forever so if it's not built that well, it's not gonna last. It's not gonna last for um, Sometimes when we're out there, we go to a lot of real rustic places. And uh, sometimes, like right now, we have our eye on some wagon wheels. Right? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, we do. So sometimes when we're out there, we see these things and we pick them up and then we incorporate them into furniture. Like, you know, cause another, you know, reclaimed wood, the reason why it's reclaimed wood is because it's got history, you know? So when you incorporate another, another item as a table leg or whatever it may be, or an old bolt or whatever, then all of a sudden, that becomes part of that history. Hey everybody, and thanks for joining us for our latest video where we bring you the best of the old, the new, the odd, and the wonderful. So if you're interested in this video or our channel, go ahead and subscribe below. Also, if you need an appraisal done or if you have items that you need restored, you can go to our website because we also offer service, and that is at kirstensantiques.com. That's K-A-Antiques.com. 
You can also follow us on all of our social media platforms for the newest and the latest and the greatest on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We also do contests where you can win really cool stuff. Like this. <laughs> Sign balls, <laughs> shot glasses, or even a t-shirt. So go ahead, follow us today, get with it, and we're gonna be bringing you new content every day. Thanks.